guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you how you can compose it, um, a few images in Adobe Photoshop CC to create very beautiful and romantic image. So guys, let's start. Um, today I will be using of course Adobe Photoshop CC and my Wacom tablet. Uh, also, I have opened my Creative Cloud library where I have all my images I would love uh, to work with today. Uh, by the way, today I will be using all images I downloaded and licensed uh, from Adobe Stock. You can use any images you like. To open any image from your Creative Cloud library uh, as a separate document, double click on the image and voila. Now, time to bring into our document another image. To add any image uh, from your Creative Cloud library into your uh, open document, simply click on the image and drag it into your um, document. I will uh, reposition it, I will resize it, make it smaller, just about this, and I will move it one more time, just like that. I will click OK to accept this layer. Right now I have two layers. One layer is background layer and another layer is our model layer. I will rename it to our model, just like that and time to isolate a background out of our model layer. What I will do, I will select, um, highlight the quick selection tool. In the options bar, I will click on select a subject button and voila, Photoshop uh, selected my main uh, subject for me. Guys, this image is very difficult to work with. This image is very um, difficult to select with one click because um, our main subject and her background has the same uh, color tone. So it's very difficult to select. Uh, Photoshop did a good job, but I would love to um, fix uh, my uh, selection. I still have um, highlighted my uh, quick selection tool. And I will, in the options bar, I will click on add to selection um, icon and I will tell Photoshop to add this um, hand to my selection, also this part of her swing. Also, I would like to add this part of her swing into my selection and this part as well. This uh, part of her dress and this part of her dress. Now I will switch to subtract from my selection icon, which is next to add to selection um, the, um, button. And I will remove this part from my selection. Also this, just like that, and this. Now switching between add to my selection and subtract from my selection, I will um, adjust my selection. I would like to make my selection as perfect as it possible. So switching, spending some time, I will uh, create a very nice uh, selection. If you made mistake like I did now, no tra uh, tragedy. I will switch between my um, add and um, subtract from my selection and I will fix everything. Here, small adjustment, and I will be okay. Also, I would like to add this part, and I would like to remove this part out of my selection. Now, I'm pretty much happy, maybe this part, yes. Now, I'm pretty much happy. No, 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 I'm not happy. <laughs> I need to uh, remove from my selection this part of her uh, leg, just like this. So guys, as you seeing, I'm uh, switching between two uh, tools, two buttons, I would say, and I will fix my selection. Awesome. Now, time to click on select and mask tab. When I will click on select and mask tab, which is next to select subject tab in the options uh, bar, I will be redirected to select uh, and mask workspace. Here I can adjust my selection, uh, adjust my masking. I can do anything in same workspace, so I don't need to jump between uh, multiple workspaces. Um, my view mode specified to onion skin uh, because um, I can uh, adjust my transparency slider 
to, for better preview of my background example if I will move my transparency slider all the way to the left I will bring back my entire uh, background if I will move my transparency slider all the way to the right I will um, remove my uh, background for now I will move my transparency slider about 43% because I would like to see a uh, part of my uh, top layer uh, because I need to adjust my masking. I will highlight my uh, simple brush tool with a plus icon selected. I will bring back part of her swing just like this, part of her hair, hand, just like that. Now I will move my transparency slider all the way to the right and I will adjust my masking. So I'm switching from plus icon to a minus and I will erase part of her background. Just like this. Perfect. So guys, spend some time switching between um, plus and minus um, icons you will be able to uh, create perfect um, selection make perfect um, create perfect masking so guys uh, don't rush spend some time um, and you will love your final result so I'm pretty much happy with what I'm having right now I'm just applying a few final steps to my um, masking switching between two uh, icons plus and minus I can add or remove any parts of my uh, background just like that perfect 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 um, now guys I will switch to a uh, refined edge brush and I will fix uh, area around her hair just like that now I think it's too complicated. If you made any mistake, don't panic. Switch from a plus icon to a minus and fix uh, all areas. Nothing is too complicated, guys. Everything is fixable in Photoshop. Everything is possible uh, with Photoshop. Just like that. I love, I love um, area around her hair. Now, if you like, you can switch view mode to black and white and you can uh, adjust, you can correct your uh, selection, your masking if you need. So I will switch to my simple brush tool uh, with um, minus icon selected and I will fix this part around her dress. Just like this and here and probably here. And here I'm switching from um, minus to plus icon to add some part of her um, dress. Perfect, perfect, perfect. How easy is it? And also this part of her swing. Perfect. And I'm switching back to my onion skin view. After you're satisfied with everything, uh, I will recommend you to check um, box this box um, and also specify um, output to new layer with layer mask. And this is important. So uh, after you will specify output to new layer with layer mask, click OK and voila. Photoshop is created a new layer with a layer mask. If you would like to adjust your um, masking, double click on layer mask and you will be redirected back to select and mask workspace when you can adjust your uh, masking. Uh, I don't need my first original our model layer, so I will delete it. And I will highlight my top layer guys but I will click uh, on a layer uh, layers thumbnail I'm not clicking on layer mask icon I'm clicking on my um, layer thumbnail and now I will fix a color between my two layers I would like to have same colors uh, same tone in my two layers what I will do with my top model layer 
thumbnail highlighted, I will go to image, adjustment, match color. In my source in here, guys, I will specify source to my background layer and I will move my color intensity slider almost all the way to the right. And now I have uh, both layers with the um, same um, color and I love it because it's uh, summer, it's shiny, it's uh, warm, it's so beautiful. I would like to add a warm uh, effect to my model as well. So after I satisfied with everything, I will click OK. And now, guys, I will click on my uh, background layer. I will highlight my background layer. In my libraries, I will click on uh, another image I would like to use today. I will click and drag this image into my document. I will reposition it. I will resize it. I will make it bigger in any way I want to. I will click OK to accept this layer. In my layer, uh, layers panel, I will switch blending mode to soft light and I will bring down opacity of uh, my uh, layer, just about probably 45. And I will merge all my visible layers. Uh, or I can uh, click on flatten image. So all my layers are merged. And now I will duplicate my um, layer, will go to filter, camera raw filter, and now I will create some magic. What I will do, guys, I will move my exposure slider, slider to the right. I will increase contrast slightly. I will move shadow slider slightly to the right and same about blacks slider. So guys, now I have very warm, very beautiful, very bright summer morning. Uh, this is what I uh, um, ha had in my mind. So I love summer in general. So I love summer morning. I will click OK. And now one more time, I will duplicate my layer. I will go to filter, render and a lens flare. Here I can um, move my lens flare to any place I want to. I will, I will position my uh, lens flare uh, point um, into um, uh, the sun just behind my model, just the bright, brightest side, uh, uh, brightest part of my image. It's about uh, somewhere behind my model. And I specified that uh, lens type to a one of five millimeter prime. Also, I can increase or decrease the brightness of my lens flare. Let's try something about not too extreme, about 43 and I will click OK. Just like that. And now, guys, let's uh, just um, take a look. Uh, we have a very beautiful um, movement. We have very warm morning with a beautiful woman uh, on her swing. And we have a lens flare for, um, somewhere behind our uh, model, but we also can see lens flare uh, here, somewhere um, uh, on the bottom of our trees. If you don't like uh, lens flare, this part of lens flare, you can apply layer mask to your uh, top image, just like that. Switch to uh, gradient tool from a black to white, specify um, foreground uh, to uh, black and uh, background to the white and you will be able to erase this part of um, uh, top layer so you don't have right now any lens flare um, effect but I like this effect I will bring opacity of my gradient tool back to 100% and I will bring this lens flare back. I will switch my foreground color to the white and background color to the black and I will bring back my lens flare because uh, particularly in this image I uh, really really like to see uh, those uh, shiny uh, spots from uh, my um, lens flare. So 
I will merge my top two layers, merge down, and now I will show to you before our camera roll and before our our lens flare uh, layer and after. This is before and this is after. So guys, how easy is it? We come we used only three images to composite a very beautiful and romantic image, and now is July. It's a uh, middle of the summer. It's a very warm uh, outside, uh, and especially in the morning. It's so colorful. It's so beautiful. I hope you will create something very beautiful and romantic after my tutorial. And I hope you will share your creation on YouTube and you will tag me in your creations because as usual, I'm repeating myself. I would love to see what you will create after my tutorial. So guys, and again, if you have any questions, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions. Thank you, guys. Uh, super appreciated. And I will see you later on. Bye, guys.